yet he does not have happiness in dwarka our acharya shri rupa goswami has caught this fact in his writings yathasyurnayakavastha yathasyurnayakavastha nikhila eva madhave nikhila eva madhave tathaita nayikavastha tathaita nayikavastha radhayam prayasho mata यथा स्यूर नायक अवस्था द अवस्था द वराइटीज ऑफ मूड्स एंड इमोशंस दैट एन आइडियल नायक एन आइडियल मेल कंपेनियन कैन हैव दे आर ऑल प्रेजेंट इन श्री कृष्ण बट देर इज नो क्वीन इन द्वारका हु कैन मैच द रेंज ऑफ इमोशंस दैट श्री कृष्ण कैन एक्सप्रेस एज एन आइडियल हीरो there is nobody in dwarka there is only one particular energy shakti of his one particular lady in shri vrindavan who can match the entirety of the range of his emotions and who is that shri ram tathaita nayika avastha similarly almost the entire variety of moods and dispositions of an ideal nayika ideal feminine consort are present exclusively in shri radha shri rupa goswami uses almost there prayasho for krishna he uses he does not use almost for shri radha he uses almost because krishna has the freedom to behave as cruelly as he wants but she will not respond with a very harsh level of cruelty she can be a little harsh upon him as long as it is pleasing to him but she will not be too harsh on him because she knows that is not pleasing to him so as long as it is pleasing to shri krishna all those range of emotions are present in the personality of shrimati radharani and there are some emotions which are not so pleasing to krishna they are present in other gopis i'll bring them out in the course of this presentation shri krishna remembers how she was capable of completely capturing his heart simply by the movement of her eyes she did not need to do anything else simply by the movements of her eyes she could capture shri krishna dear devotees shri rupa goswami in his dan keli komudi introductory verse the first verse of dan keli komudi he speaks about this as follows this verse is in the meter shardula vikritam same as shad goswami ashtakam can we sing together this time dear devotees yes let's sing together antasme ratayo jwala jal kana व्याकीर्ण पक्ष्माकुरा किंचितटलितांचलासिक सिक्तापुरकुंचती रुद्धाया पथि माधवे न मधुर व्याघ्नतारोत्तरा राधाया किल किंचित स्तब किनी दृष्टि श्रेयम वह क्रिया कृष्णाज माइंड गोज बैक टू श्री वृंदावन एस्पेशली श्री गोवर्धन वेर देर इज अ प्लेस नेम्ड दान घाटी इन द दान घाटी इज अ प्लेस वेर द पाथ ऑफ वॉकिंग इज वेरी नैरो Sri Radha would go walking down this path he would be hiding suddenly he would jump in front of her and stop her path he did at one point of time when he did that Sri Radha responded simply through her eyes antah smera tayo jwala antah smera smera is smile dear devotees 
कैन ऑल ऑफ यू स्माइल अंत स्मेर कैन यू स्माइल फ्रॉम द इन साइड दर इज समथिंग कॉल्ड एज स्माइलिंग फ्रॉम द इन साइड स्माइलिंग फ्रॉम द आउटसाइड इज डन यूजिंग द माउथ स्माइलिंग फ्रॉम द इन साइड इज डन यूजिंग द आईस अंत स्मेर तयोज्वला शी डिड नॉट स्माइल थ्रू हर माउथ शी स्माइल्ड थ्रू हर आईज बिकॉज शी डिड नॉट वॉन्ट टू शो दैट शी इज वेरी हैप्पी so the first emotion that was visible in her eyes was joy jala kana vyakirna there were tears that suddenly came to her eyes but she prevented them from falling these tears ended up as small droplets of water on her eyelashes so the her the front part of her eyelashes has tiny droplets of water which indicate that she is slightly shivering in ecstasy at this point of time second emotion first emotion is joy second emotion is she is thrilled kinchit patali tanchita the corners of her eyes have become slightly reddish indicating that she is also feeling love rasikatot sikta these eyes are drenched with rasa purah kunchati and she is slightly contracting her eyes so that she also wants to show some fear how many emotions in a single movement of eyes dear devotees four or five different emotions in a single glance of the eye ruddhaya pathi madhavena this happened when she was prevented on the path by whom madhava madhura vyabhugna tarottara the iris of her eyes started sparkling at this point of time another emotion राधाया किल किंचित स्तबकिनी दृष्टि मे दिस किल किंचित विजन ऑफ श्री राधा दिस किल किंचित ग्लांस ऑफ श्री राधा श्रीयम वह क्रियात एन्श्योर ऑस्पिशियसनेस फॉर ऑल ऑफ यू डियर डिबोतीस न वॉट इज किल किंचित आई डिड नॉट ट्रांसलेट इट आई लेफ्ट इट एज इट इज because shri rupa goswami is a connoisseur of rasa he is using a very specific term so we'll first read the translation and that then i'll explain what is kilakinchita on being stopped by madhava as she was walking down the path radha's eyes developed a bouquet of wonderful emotions these eyes glistened due to her inner smile the eyelashes got adorned with unshed tears of joy the corners of the eyes got reddish and drenched in joyous emotions these eyes were slightly contra- contracted and glancing in a sidelong manner may this glance of shri radha containing the kilakinchita bouquet of various emotions ensure auspiciousness for all of you dear devotees in dwaraka can he behave like this is it possible to behave in this manner in dwaraka rukmini is walking suddenly he comes and stops her path are what how are you be- you are king of dwaraka behave yourself <laughs> you have some reputation to protect so dear devotees it is, is not possible and will rukmini give her kilak give him kilakinchita <laughs> after 10 years of marriage usually after 2 years of marriage you know the it becomes bland in most cases hmm? 
after 10 years of marriage he will stop rukmini and then she will give him kilakinchita it's not going to happen how much you know where should krishna go in order to get this particular emotion but he cannot go Shri Rupa Goswami says this is Shri Radha who has a very specific mood this mood is called as mugdha please repeat mugdha mugdha is a girl who has just entered her youth she is very shy so that is mugdha and shri radha completely fulfilled the role of a mugdha nayika at this point of time Shri Rupa Goswami specifies kila kinchita in his verse but this kila kinchita is taken from previous acharyas please repeat after me smita shushka rudita hasita smita shushka rudita hasita trasa krodha shramadinam trasa krodha shramadinam sankaryam kila kinchitam अभीष्टतम सो दिस इज द डेफिनेशन ऑफ किल किंचित प्लीज रीड मिक्सर ऑफ स्माइल फॉल्स क्राइम स्लाइट लाफ्टर स्लाइट एजिटेशन स्लाइट एंगर स्लाइट फिटीक एक्सेट्रा इज नोन एज किल किंचित दिस अकर्स due to sudden attainment of a desired object or person so this is what shri krishna was expecting in dwaraka but he never attained it moving ahead this was shri radha when she was very shy gradually as her age increased the shyness slightly goes away and slight boldness occurs this dear devotees is shown in her keen intelligence when krishna is expecting it the most from her this verse is in the meter manda kranta i will sing it please repeat after me madvaktrambho ruha parimalon mat sevanubandhe पत्यु कृष्ण भ्रमर कुरुषे किस्व यदि कलरुत व्यघ्रचिस्तदाग्रे पुष्पै पांडुच्छविम विरलैर्या पुन्नागकुंज श्रीमती राधाराणी वन पर्टिक्युलर डे वॉज सिटिंग विथ हर मदर इन लॉ वॉट इज द नेम ऑफ हर मदर इन लॉ जटिला शी इज सिटिंग विथ हर मदर इन लॉ जटिला आउटसाइड हर होम एट सम डिस्टेंस बिहाइंड अनदर होम इज हाइडिंग श्री कृष्ण krishna remembers this and krishna in order to call her he is playing the flute jatila does not understand what is going on but shri radha understands what is going on suddenly a bumble bee comes there a very dark colored bumble bee shri radha then says something to the bumble bee मद वक्त्रांभो रुह परिमलोन मत्त सेवानुबंधे पत्यु कृष्ण भ्रमर ओ कृष्ण भ्रमर ओ डार्क बंबल बी मत वक्त्रांभो रुह यू आर अट्रैक्टेड टू माय लोटस लाइक फेस बट सेवानुबंधे कुरुषे अंतरायम बट हियर आई एम एंगेज्ड इन सर्विंग माय हस्बैंड अभिमन्यु Why are you creating a disturbance for me? She is speaking in front of Jatila, you know, to the bumblebee. <laughs> oh, dark bumblebee! I am busy here serving my husband, Krishna Brahmara. 
why are you creating a disturbance in my service to my husband jatila is very happy <laughs> trishna bhistvam if you are very very thirsty kalaruta oh sweet sounding one this is a term which can be used for the bumblebee as well as for krishna because krishna is also playing the flute oh sweet sounding one if you are very thirsty tadagre then just go ahead pushpai pandu chavi mabirelai yahi punnag kunjam go ahead just nearby at a distance there is the kunja of the punnag yellow flax flowers and go satisfy yourself there in this way shri radha indicated to him that shri krishna should meet her in some time in punnaga kunj at a distance from her home this was the expertise of shri radha and krishna was expert in picking up the signals <laughs> <laughs> this is the translation oh krishna brahmara dark pambuti lusty krishna okay just a minute brahmara also means lusty so there are two meanings to the term brahmara brahmara means bumblebee brahmara means a lusty person all right so she knows how to use shlesha pun in english we call it pun two meanings of a single term the one of the 64 arts that the gopis have learnt very expertly please continue o krishna brahmara dar bumblebee o lusty krishna being attracted by the fragrance of my lotus like mouth you have come here Why are you disturbing my service to my husband? Oh sweet sounding one, if you are getting agitated at heart, then quickly proceed to the kit the kunja that is resplendent with a yellow hue due to its sufficient quantity of blooming punnaga, yellow flax flowers. So this dear devotees is Sri Radha in the mood of a nayika which is technically called as please repeat madhya first was mukdha she is a little shy then is madhya partially shy partially bold that is madhya those of us who have not seen punnag because nowadays we have stopped observing nature ever since we got access to smartphones we stopped observing nature closely so punnag is this flower it is very fragrant this is punnag flower yellow flax a very fragrant flower and when the entire kunja is filled with it it's very thick so you cannot see anybody who's entered into this particular place easily so this was the expertise of shrimati radharani at that point of time there is a third type of mood in this wherein the shyness is completely gone and only boldness is there because first mood was shy and no boldness second mood was partially shy partially bold third mood is fully bold no shyness that is not to be seen in shri radha because in that particular mood there are other gopis like chandravali previous year when i had given a seminar on shikharini of shri rupa goswami i had quoted one particular verse where shri krishna is returning dejected because he was sent away by shri radha and on the way he meets chandravali and he is thinking about shrimati radharani so much after seeing chandravali he says oh radhe how are you Chandravali says, "Yes, Maharaj, comes. I am okay. How are you?" <laughs> A foolish girl. Where did you see Kamsa? You tell me where you saw Radha. Oh my God! <laughs> Then he bowed down his face. He was still smiling. Dear devotees. <laughs> निर्लज सदा सुखी अ शेमलेस पर्सन 
is always happy, dear devotees, <laughs> always happy. <coughs> but that sort of naika, that sort of uh, emotion of a lady is called pragalbha. Pragalbha is she who is fully bold. It is not seen in Srimati Radharani. It is seen in the other gopis who are dear to Sri Krishna. Krishna terribly misses the sulkiness, the man, especially when he is with Rukmini Devi, because Rukmini Devi does not become sulky for any reason. No matter how hard he tries, even if he has told her, leave me and find somebody else, still she did not get sulky. This is Rukmini Devi. Even on giving the highest reason for sulkiness, she is not getting sulky. Quite the opposite nature is Sri Radha. Sometimes she would get sulky for no reason whatsoever. <laughs> she would just detect by looking at him, by looking at the, what do they call, physiognomical features. By looking at him, she would understand that this person wants me to become angry at this point of time. <laughs> so Sri Rupa Goswami says, Ahaitukaman, without any reason, she will get angry at him just so that he can experience happiness. This verse is in the meter Malini. I will sing it every line. We will break into two parts. Please repeat after me. Ahamiha vichi nomi Ahamiha vichi nomi Tvadgiraiva prasunam Tvadgiraiva prasunam Kathaya kathama kande Chandivacham Yamasi Chandivacham Yamasi Viditamu Padhinalam Radhikesha Dikena Radhikesha Dikena Priya Saki Kusumena Shrotramutam Sayami so one fine day, she detected that he wants me to become angry. Suddenly, she started ordering him around. Krishna, go collect flowers from that particular place. I want immediately in five minutes. <laughs> Get to work. So, all, you know, definitely. So he went and collected. So our Krishna is running on Indian standard time. Yeah. <laughs> Half an hour later. <laughs> yeah, I bought all the flowers. So she knew he is also deliberately getting late. Huh? So then she looked at him with great anger. Then Krishna says, Ahamiha vichi no me. I am plucking flowers here. Twadgiraiva by your order. I am plucking flowers here. Don't you understand? Mm -hmm. huh? <laughs> now I bought for you all the flowers. Kathaya kathama kande. Now without any reason. Huh? <laughs> chandi va... Oh chandi. Chandi means you know. Huh? Chandi. Oh fierce one. Hmm? <laughs> Vacham yamasi. Why are you keeping quiet? Say something. Is everything okay? And with anger. Yeah everything is okay. <laughs> when Krishna says, ah, Viditam, ah, now I understood. Upadinalam, now I understood what you want. Radhike, Shadhike, oh Radhika, Shadi, please instruct me. Ke na priya sakhi kusumena. Which flower I should use to decorate your ears? Karna muttam sayami. I sorry I forgot. I didn't only have to bring the flowers. I also have to decorate you. Sorry, you know I have to be separately told. It's my mistake. <laughs> At that point of time, she started laughing loudly, and he also laughed loudly. <laughs> because this was false man, sulkiness for no reason, dear devotees. So sometimes she wants to relish these particular emotions and she is the one who perfectly fulfills all of it at the perfect time that he needs it. And in Dwarka, 
dear devotees there is no possibility of such an immediate expression of sulkiness through the via medium of any particular queen satya bhama once got angry he didn't get flowers and then how did he have to get those flowers can anybody tell by fighting with indra shri radha will never put our krishna through such an exercise dear devotees i told you there are two extremes one is rukmini who, who will rarely ask for a flower and one is satya bhama who will ask for the flower from heavenly planets this is the translation from radhe by your order i have come to collect flowers oh chandike fierce one what happened now why are you sulky for no reason i understand now radhik my dear sakhi please tell me which flower i should use to decorate your ears so this is what he used to experience daily in vrindavan every day today he is carrying a heavy crown on his head dear devotees no comfort clothing and flute forget about it the king of dwarka doesn't play his flute last year i showed a particular verse in which shri krishna placates or removes the man of shri radha on another day shri radha had called him at one particular place to meet that place is called sanket sthali indicated place in the evening he got late by 2 hours as usual <laughs> so she got angry and she went to a particular place of hers which is called as mohan kunj the gaudiya vaishnavas call it radha mohan kunj shri krishna came there by tracing her footsteps and then started knocking on the door and she would not open suddenly lalita devi opened the door slightly came out and said here carefully <laughs> and go back to your home after you hear this message <laughs> her love is like a gunja seed a gunja seed is fully red only at its mouth it is black her love is like a gunja seed which means she has love in her entire body but our sakhi is shy therefore sometimes she doesn't express it through her mouth therefore you take advantage of her vachana patu you word juggler your love is exactly the opposite it is only on the mouth nowhere else in the body <laughs> just as the beak of a parrot is red you know only the beak is red not the entire body now you heard it chalo <laughs> So Krishna went home with a heavy heart that day and thought what should I do to convince her back That night he told Nanda Maharaj Baba <laughs> For many days I am having a desire Nanda Maharaj ha huh? what is that tell me You know every morning you invite so many guests in the morning assembly all the music is playing everything Can we invite Maharaj Vrishabhanu tomorrow morning <laughs> Sure <laughs> with family and let us so that night a doot a messenger was sent to maharaj vrishabhanu maharaj vrishabhanu nanda maharaj invites you for tomorrow morning's you know breakfast assembly please grace the assembly with your presence along with your family All right fine so this person shri krishna he will first make her angry and on top of that he has the audacity to instead of going to her home and saying i am sorry he will force her to come to his home dear devotees <laughs> next morning shrimati radharani and her family they all came so there was a big assembly hall you have to visualize in your heart big assembly hall on one side krishna and his family are sitting on the other side shrimati radharani and their family are sitting there are musicians playing music and through the window there is sunlight coming all right morning assembly 
Shri Krishna is trying to wave to her. <laughs> she is not interested. She looks away. At this point of time, this is the verse which Sri Rupa Goswami composes. This verse is in the meter Shikharini. I will sing it same as Jagannath Ashtakam. Please repeat after me. Shiras Chayam Krishna Swayam Akrita Radha Charana Javali chayami amapita diya pratikrita Javali chayami amapita diya pratikrita Idi grida kope nibrita mubhayora pyanunaya Prasadauji astam api guru samaksham sthita bato Prasadauji astam api guru samaksham sthita bato Shikharini So the name of the meter should fit within the meter. This is a rule in the Sanskrit science of meters. The name of the meter should also fit within the meter. So this is the meter Shikharini. Shri Krishna is sitting here. Srimati Radharani is sitting on the other side. Suddenly Shri Krishna did something. Shiras Chayam Krishna. Krishna took the shadow of his head. Swayam Akrita and placed that shadow. Where did he place it? Radha Charanayor at the lotus feet of Srimati Radharani. She saw that this person's shadow is coming near me. She wanted to escape, but she could not escape. The shadow was faster and caught up with her lotus feet. And his shadow touched her lotus feet, dear devotees. Bhujavalli Chayam, she took the shadow of both her hands and placed it on the shadow of Sri Krishna's head at this point of time, dear devotees. Iti Krida Kope, this is the joyous, loving sulkiness of Sri Radha. Try to understand, dear devotees. Her sulkiness is not, I'll make him suffer, then you will understand what it is. <laughs> that is not her sulkiness. At least not at this point of time. Maybe in the future, we will see what happens. You know. Who knows what is going to happen in the next two set of presentations <laughs> but at least for the time being it is not there jiyastam all glories to prasadav anunaya prasadav all glories to this act of begging forgiveness by krishna and giving forgiveness by sri radha why guru samaksham because krishna managed to ask for forgiveness in front of both parents without the parents even realizing it dear devotees <laughs> So this, dear devotees, is Shri Krishna's expertise in Sri Vrindavan and Sri Radha who understood each and every move of Sri Krishna's body, mind and words. This is the translation. In order to placate, placate. placate Sri Radha, Krishna voluntarily placed the shadow of his head at her feet. She put the shadow of both her palms on the shadow of the head of Krishna. In this way, both of them, seated in front of their seniors, pacified each other and relieved their sulkiness. May this act of placation by Krishna and loving forgiveness by Sri Radha be victorious in all the worlds. Dear devotees, there is a painting for this particular verse but this is not what happened actually Krishna did not put his head directly at the feet of Sri Radha 
So this painting was lacking last year. I did not have this painting, dear devotees. So there's a very special devotee amongst us who's also a very good artist. She got inspired by this particular verse. And dear devotees, she created a painting for this particular verse. This is the reason why I repeated this verse, dear devotees. So this painting is a freshly created painting for this verse, dear devotees. So this painting was done by Pornamasi Devi Mataji. She's from Slovenia, yes. And her uh, she stays with her husband Banka Chandra Prabhu. Is he here? No, he's not here. So thank you, Pornamasi Mataji. This is a very, very good painting. And it is the success of the presentation of previous year, dear devotees, that somebody got inspired to paint a new painting. So I'm always searching for new art, but you know, uh, very rarely, you know, am I uh, able to convince a devotee for creating new art. I'm so happy that she got inspired by it. So dear devotees, we should give her a big round of applause for creating <laughs> Sahitya Sangeeta Kala Vihina Sakshat Pashu Pucha Vishana Hina Bhartri Hari says every person, every human should know one of three things Sahitya, either literature Sangeet or music Kala or one of the arts Somebody who doesn't know any of these Sakshat Pashu, directly an animal Why did you take human birth? He says So I am very confident in presenting this topic in this assembly because I know there are many connoisseurs of art, music and literature present here. And thank you so much Mataji for kindly reciprocating with the effort of translating the verses. I am really grateful for the same. Dear devotees, our Sri Krishna finally said something to Rukmini. And this is what Shri Krishna said. In the Srimad Bhagavatam, Krishna says to Rukmini, Balavad bhi krita dvesham Prayas tyaktan ripasanam Prabhu kindly read the translation. I have created enemies with powerful kings such as Tarasandra, etc. And I have practically relinquished the royal throne. Dear devotees, he says this to Rukmini Devi. He was coronated as the king of Dwarka. Officially, on paper, he is the king of Dwarka. But all the kingdom is being managed by King Ugrasen. The Acharyas explain in their commentary on, on this verse. The entire kingdom is being managed by King Ugrasen. Because it seems that this king is no longer suitable for carrying out the duties of ruling a kingdom. At this point, I will pause the first part of my presentation. Tomorrow we will see where we can go from here. And if there is something which we can do to fix this condition. Would all of you like to fix this condition of Sri Krishna, dear devotees? So, we have to do something. So, thank you very much, dear devotees. Yadatra skhalitam kinchit vidvam sahapura yantu tat Yadatra saushthavam kinchit tat guro reva kinchit. If there's any mistake that I made in the presentation, Vidvamsa, you are all learned devotees. Pura Yantutat, please correct any mistakes. But Yadatra Saushtavam Kinchit, if there's anything nice in the presentation, a single slide, a single verse, a single line, a single word, or a single syllable. If you found it nice, please know Tat Guru Reva. 
इट बिलोंग्स टू माई गुरु जनस माई दीक्षा गुरु माई शिक्षा गुरुज ऑल द डिसाइपल्स ऑफ श्रीला प्रभुपद ऑल द गॉड ब्रदर्स ऑफ श्रीला प्रभुपद ऑल द गोडिय वैष्णवस फ्रॉम द पास्ट एंड दोज हु विल कम इन द फ्यूचर एंड दोज हु आर इन द प्रेजेंट इंक्लूडिंग ऑल ऑफ यू आर ऑल्सो माई शिक्षा गुरुज इट बिलोंग्स टू यू मे नहीं इट डजेंट बिलोंग टू मी थैंक यू वेरी मच श्रील प्रभुपाद की जय हरे कृष्णा Maharaj, we'll we'll get the we'll give the mic to Maharaj. Hare Krishna, thank you very very much for your excellent uh, presentation. That uh, was so full of uh, wonderful tastes, actually, of of uh, you know understanding how Krishna thinks, how Radha. Thank you very much. Uh, I have one very brief question. Uh, you distinguished the mood of Dwarka from Vrindavan. Uh, this something that might solve a question I have since a long time. You said how the um, queens in Vrindavan all have their separate palaces and so on, mm, and arrangements. Whereas the gopis share everything, and Krishna calls them collectively into the forest. Mm. And then you said, uh, also Krishna has to expand himself into sixteen thousand uh, and more forms. Uh, n- now, when he is with the gopis, I once heard that he is. It's not expanding himself. It's always Krishna, and uh, that I heard mm, became uh, obvious when Krishna danced with all these gopis in the Rasa Lila. I I heard he had not really expanded himself for each gopi, but somehow he remained this one same Krishna, but he danced so swiftly that. that Uh, and I, I heard it, but yeah, of course, with the Achintya Shakti, everything is possible for Krishna. But, but do we have some further <coughs> illustration? First of all, did I hear correctly, and and then h- how exactly did he do it? Yes. So, uh, Sri La Vishwanath Chakravarti Thakur gives the. understanding that it was one krishna who danced so rapidly that the gopis felt as if he is with them then he says or another possibility is that one krishna was with two gopis like he used to you know so uh, and the other acharyas say that there is a specific type of manifestation of krishna known as prakash prakash cannot be translated as expansion prakash refers to originals like you can't say that this is the original and this is the expansion there are as many gopis those many replicas of shri krishna so that concept of prakash is introduced by shri jiva goswami at that point of time because every gopi has to feel that he is paying exclusive attention to me so that is the concept of prakash vigraha and that same concept is also in dwarka when he married 16000 it was prakash replicas it was not one krishna from whose body 16000 came out so shri jiva goswami says what happened in dwarka also happened in vrindavan but shri la vishwanath chakravarti thakur said what happened in vrindavan was different there was one krishna who danced between all of them Sri Sanatan Goswami says the first and foremost the big problem is the age at what age did the rasalila take place the age does not look suitable for you know uh, such a meeting to happen then sri sanatan goswami says for rasalila for specifically for the purpose of rasalila and because it is going to you know take the entire night of brahma therefore krishna and the gopis manifested a suitable age for that particular night when the rasalila was about to happen 
the area of Govardhan is not sufficient to have, you know, a private little private space for every gopi. So Sri Vishwanath Chakravarti Thakur says that Govardhan at that point of time, the area of Govardhan dynamically expanded so that everybody could have a little corner of their own. And then Sri Jiva Goswami says Krishna manifested replicas. But when Krishna disappeared, the main point, the thrust of the uh, entire point was when Krishna disappeared, they all got together and they were not saying, where is my Krishna, where is my Krishna, where is my Krishna. So they all got together and they all were saying, where is Krishna? They went to the banks of Yamuna, held hands together and cried on the bank of Yamuna. So that is the difference between the mood of the gopis and Dwarka queens. Uh, the Acharyas say the queens of Dwarka are of such a nature sometimes. One queen wants to send away another queen. You know, why don't you go to your parents' house for, for a few days? Eh? <laughs> so this, this nature is sometimes found in the queens of Dwarka. But this is not found in the Vrajagopis. They are okay with sharing their love because Krishna was happy. So as long as Krishna is happy, we are okay with it. So that is what I, I hope that answers the query to some degree of satisfaction. Yes, thank you. Yes. Do we have time, Maharaj? Okay, it's it's twelve fifty five. So Gaur Hari Prabhu, you should tell me when to stop. Yeah. Okay. You, I think we are supposed to end at one. Hmm. Asalam is at one thirty. Oh. So we can we can we are <laughs> <laughs> so, so l- l- let it begin. Okay. <laughs> so Pujari ni Mataji, let's give the mic to her. Hi, Thank you for a very beautiful and <laughs> sweet presentation. So. We hear that uh, Rukmini Devi is an expansion of Sri Radhika and Satya Bhama is an expansion of Sri Chandravali. Nah. No? Srimati Radharani has Vam Swabhav or Dakshin Swabhav? Vam. Vam. Mm. And who has Vam Swabhav in Dwarka Leela? Satya Bhama. Oh. Okay, so that uh, was my confusion. Anybody else? Thank you so much for this uh, wonderful presentation. Mm, I have somewhat of a related question. So in Krishna book, I was just reading how Krishna enters, description of how Krishna entered Mathura. And there were very two peculiar incidents happening. So the first one was with the washer, who um, refused to give Krishna's clothes when he requested it. And Krishna just cut off his head. And then the other one was with a hunchback lady who expressed very openly lusted desires for Krishna. Then Krishna, he, um, he made her beautiful form and then he said like, okay, I'm going to fulfill your desires by nature. And um, I just recently heard that with this lady, hunchback lady, that in a previous uh, Ram Leela, she was Shurpanakha, who uh, had a desire to enjoy Ramachandra in this way. Uh, maybe could you elaborate a little bit more on that? And if there's any kind of a backstory with the washerman <laughs> who had his head cut off in a dramatic fashion like that. Okay. The backstory that I've heard, and this is Kim Vadanti. Kim, Vad- Kim Vadanti, who said we don't know, all right? So it, <laughs> Kim Vad- it is technically called Kim Vadanti. Huh? So Sanskrit. I mean, it is Kim Vadanti. Kim Vadanti. Aham na janami. I don't know. But it is passed on as oral, oral tradition. Kim Vadanti. So there is a Kim Vadanti that she was first the daughter of Bali Maharaj who got attracted to Vaman Dev, but Vaman Dev was a Brahmachari. And then she appeared as Shurpanakha and she got rejected again. And finally she got accepted as Kubja. Kubja is the hunchback lady. Sri Rupa Goswami says Kubja also has Madhurya Ras, but in Madhurya Ras there are three varieties of Madhurya Ras Sadharani Rati, Samanjasa Rati, and uh, Samartha Rati. Thank you. Sadharani, Samanjasa, and Samartha. I will explain briefly. Sadharani is when 
desire for self enjoyment is the greatest and desire for giving pleasure to krishna is very less this is sadharani rati samanjasa rati is when desire to give pleasure to krishna is great and there is some desire for self pleasure samartha is when exclusive desire is to give pleasure to krishna sadharani rati is found in kubja samanjasa mixed is found in the queens of dwaraka samartha the desire to give pleasure exclusively to krishna is found in the gopis of raja so that is the back story behind her <coughs> that washerman he was associate of kamsa there is no back story as far as i have seen there is no back story krishna balram requested him to give the clothes and he said you cowherds get out of here these are a king's clothes so after a little argument krishna just uninstalled his head <laughs> <laughs> just to put it in very mild words <laughs> krishna un- uninstalled his head from his body <laughs> so that is what happened i hope that satisfies your query thank you so please remember some technical terms for introduce i speak technical terms so that they can be remembered sadharani rati conjugal love towards krishna where the desire for giving pleasure to oneself is much greater than desire for giving pleasure to krishna samanjasa mixed where the desire to give pleasure to krishna is greater but there is also a good proportion of giving pleasure to the self samartha the exclusive desire to give pleasure to shri krishna that is found in the gopis and shri radha so that is what it is we say selfless love it is rare to be found even in some corners in the spiritual world dear devotees <laughs> what then to speak of the material world <laughs> all right i I'll, thank you for yes go ahead prabhu thank you so much for this beautiful presentation mm. uh, we hear that krishna is giving uh, full power to his lila shakti to organize his pastimes in braj so my question is when he's going out to mathura and dwarka is he also like submitting himself to the lila shakti or once it's outside of indavan then it's different arrangement or is is he maybe not fully responsible of living and or how so krishna is always in control of his lila shakti because if shakti at any point of time starts dominating over bhagwan shak another name for shakti is maya and if maya becomes stronger than bhagwan then we have a philosophical problem called mayavad where the strongest entity is maya so that cannot happen what is mayavad the philosophy of maya becoming stronger than bhagwan is called mayavad so in short and sweet words uh, a mayavadi says uh, you are also supreme you are also supreme you are also supreme just covered by maya so then question arises who is stronger supreme or maya maya so this philosophy is called which vad maya vad so this is a in two short sentences this is an explanation of what maya vad is so this cannot happen he always remains in control but for the purpose of leela he, indu- he introduces separation in the past time so when he leaves she is in charge of two things first is to make sure that all the flavors of separation are experienced in vrindavan because what is the purpose of separation not so that they will suffer there is no material suffering involved in any separation the purpose is to invoke the highest happiness by introducing separation dear devotees today we heard a lot of verses about sadness of krishna how many of us exp- did we experience sadness or happiness please raise your hands <laughs> think about it eh? did we experience sadness or happiness <coughs> both 
Lembut uh, Happiness So separation is A different type of happiness Happiness in a different package Is called separation Sri Sanatan Goswami explains how separation is also happiness by giving an analogy. He says if you if your hand you put it in fire, the hand will become burnt and it will become dark in color. And you will have a burning sensation in the hand. Because fire has the nature of burning. If you put your hand in freezing ice, again the hand will become dark and you will have a burning sensation. It is called frostbite. Externally, a frostbite looks exactly the same as a burn. Externally, a frostbite gives the exact same sensation as a burn. But it is caused, a frostbite and a burn are caused by two opposite entities. Externally, the separation in Vrindavan looks exactly like material suffering. But it is caused by the exact opposite, the highest happiness that can be had in all the worlds. That is what we should understand. Analogies are good for explaining, you know, <laughs> until we experience it in person. So I asked today the devotees, what are you feeling? Are you feeling sad or are you feeling happy? It's difficult to answer because that sadness is also leading to some sort of relishment within the heart. So that is what it is. He is in control. In between, whenever they have a tremendous desire to see him, sometimes he manifests himself suddenly. Rupa Goswami says this in Lagu Bhagavat Amritam. Even in separation, sometimes there is Spurti. Spurti means a particular gopi feels he came in front of me. Not everybody doesn't see, only a particular gopi sees him at that point of time. So that is possible, even in separation. So that is the answer to your query. Thank you. Anybody else? Yes, at the back. Hare Krishna. Thank you so much for this amazing presentation. We are talking a lot about relationships with Krishna uh, in this world and in the spiritual world. And I was just wondering, when we are talking about the spiritual realm, uh, is there any mention of uh, jivas changing their relationship with Krishna? You know, from, I don't know, uh, brother to uh, servant to brother or something like this. Just like some, some change. Um, because I'm wondering, uh, as the bring down pastimes and the relationship is always somehow relish the highest and uh, I, I see especially in, in Srila Prabhupada's ISKCON that we always kind of meditate on these pastimes so but in the spiritual world there's a, 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 lot, other, a lot of other relationship okay. so I don't want to assume everybody he's, he's, here is from Vrindavan and this is our relationship with Krishna it's a little bit confusing this uh, so if, if there's anything to, to alright so the uh, main point of the question is do relation does the same living entity change relationships in the spiritual world am I correct alright there is a possibility that a particular living entity may want to be in different roles and different relationships with Shri Krishna. Sometimes this takes place within the same personality. And Sri Rupa Goswami in the Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu gives examples of devotees who have a mixture of two or more rasas. It is called Sankularati. The technical term is Sankularati. For example, Uddhav is also a friend and at the same time a servant. He has both rasas mixed within his personality. So the technical term for that is Sankularati. 
but that is not your question your question is something else your question is if a person has a pure emotion like purely a servant can they become a brother or a sister or something like that if that starts happening it will go against the principles of rasa because the found the corner stone of rasa is called bhav and the corner stone is called sthayi bhav the meaning of sthayi is permanent or fixed if sthayi bhav changes then it will go against its very name sthayi therefore it does not change does it mean that the jeevas in the spiritual world are forever trapped in one relationship with krishna the answer to that question is also no because if a jeeva has any particular desire in the spiritual world krishna will not hesitate to fulfill the desire a jeeva can assume multiple roles in the spiritual world for example narad muni is also a friend of krishna madhumangal narad muni is also narad ji gopi in the spiritual world sometimes people speculate or give an understanding that srila prabhupad had one fixed relationship with shri krishna and they give various theses that this was prabhupad's relationship with shri krishna i disagree by saying that a particular entity can have multiple roles in the spiritual world you know why limit any particular living entity to one particular role so the answer to your query is they can have multiple relationships but in multiple identities because a living entity can take on multiple identities in the spiritual world so i hope that satisfies your query mm-hmm. yes thank you very much hari krishna yes anybody else yes hi krishna thank you so much i had a philosophical question and if you could give some answer that is correct according to our parampara philosophy is uh, sometimes i'm confronted with the question is uh, does god have a sex do we put uh, our does god have a sex is he a male female you know some people say now in modern world that this is just a material designation we have put on god actually it does not have any and as i understood this the purusha and shakti is that he is male and could you explain it a bit what is actually shakti in our radharani and also what is purusha <coughs> गोविंदम आदि पुरुष शास्त्र सेज दैट कृष्ण इज आदि पुरुष आदि पुरुष मीन्स ही इज द ओरिजिनल मैस्क्यूलाइन प्रिंसिपल एंड वॉट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ शक्ति फेमिनाइन प्रिंसिपल एंड मैस्क्यूलाइन प्रिंसिपल सो देर इज अ रिलेशनशिप बिट्वीन ishwara and shakti before creation began ishwar was alone because shakti had not manifested herself then ishwar developed a desire ekoham bahusyam i am alone let me manifest many other forms so that there can be relishment with the help of his shaktis because the jeevas are also shaktis tatastha shakti jeeva is tatastha shakti so jeeva is tatastha shakti with the help of these jeevas he manifested the creation so ishwara is niyanta the controller and the jeevas are niyantrita the controlled so that is the difference between ishwara who is the original purush principle and the shaktis now he gives freedom to the shaktis sometimes to even disobey him that is that freedom is there like shri radha can say a no to him sorry it is not going to happen so that complete freedom is there with the shaktis also so his controlling the shaktis should not be seen in the sense of a master controlling the slave sometimes we misunderstand this he is controlling the shakti the shakti is lovingly you know agree to carry out what his desire is and he also lovingly without any force asks them to do what he desires 
so that relationship is a relationship of love it is not a relationship of force so that is the relationship between ishwar and his shaktis prabhupad explained this in simple terms on many occasions so that is what it is niyanta and niyantrit niyanta means he is the controller he is the direction giver and they carry out his orders although many shaktis have the capability of doing even against something against his orders for example he may not want to give bhakti to a particular individual but if ladini shakti decides that this particular individual should get bhakti then it doesn't matter all right <laughs> So Shrila Bhakti Sidhan Saraswati Thakur used to say something, and I will show you what Shrila Bhakti Sidhan Saraswati Thakur used to say about uh, um, Gaudiya Vaishnavas. I will point out. Yeah. So can you read? Pro, you have the mic with you. Yes please read this question and the first paragraph Who are the Gaudiya Vaishnavas The devotees of Vishnu are called Vaishnavas The devotees of Krishna are called Krishna Karshnas 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 and the devotees of Sri Radha are called Gaudiyas So this is what you know basically we are So we are actually devotees of Shrimati Radharani this is the clear opinion of Srila Bhakti Siddhant Saraswati Thakur so this is from his book Amrita Vani is a collection of his teachings so this is basic difference between shakti and shakti mat the person who controls shakti so purush tatva is he who controls but he is also dependent on his shakti for his pleasure so that is what it is all right thank you anybody else yes So while you were explaining Krishna's feelings while he was staying in um, Mathura, I was uh, thinking, why God put Himself in this su- such condition? I mean, He's God. Uh, so it seems to me like life without uh, suffering is, I don't know, too boring, or uh, <laughs> or it seems uh, that. Um, even in spiritual sense that um pleasure cannot uh, exist without suffering okay. i i i, I, I say something yes yes it? see uh, prabhu, your good name prabhu navadeep chandra yes navadeep chandra prabhu so navadeep chandra prabhu for any relationship to flourish two very important components are needed does anybody know what are the two most important components of a relationship separation. union and separation because too much union destroys a relationship <laughs> now i have given this example you know many times for example prabhu your good name sumit sumit prabhu sumit prabhu you are my friend right <laughs> No. <laughs> you're f- you're my friend, okay? Yeah? <laughs> and I want to come and stay with you for one week. Uh, the condition being, you will not speak to anybody else, and uh, we will speak to each other, and no other interaction with anybody else. All right, for one week. Yes. <laughs> with you, bro. It is wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> Are don't behave like that. <laughs> <laughs> Equals. <laughs> And you have to cook for me thrice a day. I'm blissful. His case is like Rukmini Devi. Never. <laughs> <laughs> I want somebody with m- more fervor ha huh? <laughs> Prabhu your name Jai Gopal Prabhu One week exclusively ha huh? <laughs> give up your phone and only Hari Parshad Das <laughs> 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 
See, Jay Gopal Prabhu is thinking about it. Right? <laughs> <laughs> so, separation needs to be introduced in the in any particular relationship for the relationship to be successful. And therefore, Sri Krishna introduced various degrees of separation in the relationship, so that the relationship can attain its highest taste which is not possible otherwise. I give this example frequently and I am giving it again. I come from Mumbai which is western part of India and Mumbai is responsible for spoiling the entire country of India. Does anybody know why? Ah, see the experienced devotees here. Huh? <laughs> there is Bollywood in Mumbai. Every year, Navdeep Chandra Prabhu, Bollywood chants thousands of material songs. Many songs are songs of love. These songs of love can be categorized into two, base, two broad types. Songs of union, songs of separation. Does anybody know which songs are appreciated more? Separation. The opinion is loud and clear. <laughs> But separation is suffering, right? <laughs> or it is not. <laughs> so as I said, separation is a different type of pleasure, a different type of rasa. Even in the material world, it gives some perverted pleasure. So people love separation. They love the idea of separation. At least him, they love the idea of separation. <laughs> huh? So, but in the spiritual world, this separation causes a lot of pleasure. And this pleasure is had exclusively by the residents of Raja. There is no material suffering involved in Krishna Leela. And this is proved by our Acharyas by quoting Srimad Bhagavatam 10, 11, 58. Iti Nandada Yogopa Krishna Rama Katham Muda Kurvanto Ramamanascha Navindan Bhavavedana I should announce Prashadam is at 145. We can count. <laughs> I am happy, dear devotees. <laughs> Navdeep Chandra Prabhu, you have the mic with you? Yeah. Can you read the translation that is given? See, all right, I'll read. In this way, all the cowherd men headed by Nanda Maharaj enjoyed topics about the pastimes of Krishna and Balram with great transcendental pleasure and they could not even perceive material tribulations. <coughs> Although so many demons were attacking Vrindavan, there was not an, a single iota of material suffering involved. So this is the praman given by Sri Jiva Goswami. To prove that there is no material suffering in all. It's all pleasure. It's all unadulterated pleasure. That is why God decides to come in Kali Yuga and suffer through this pleasure, dear devotees. For the last decade of his life in Jagannath Puri. You know, uh, I don't know. If, uh, it came to me yesterday, you know. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, you know, he came, he could have had his pastimes in such a way that he could have relished the pastimes of union with Swarup Damodar, Rai Ramananda. But he chose purposely to suffer through those pastimes of separation. So what is the reason that we have to understand from a rasa point of view? So, Navadip Chandra Prabhu, I hope that answers the query to some degree of satisfaction. Or do you have some further reflection upon it? I have to think about it. Yeah. <laughs> you also have to experience it. <coughs> All right. So, since thank Prashadam, you. thank you, since Prashadam is at 145, so there are two options. If somebody has any other seva or some other work, you know, they can go to their respective places. Or if you want to, if you have nothing to do, just like me, <laughs> you can stay here with me. Right? <laughs> so anybody else? 
Yes, Prabhu. Adjectives. Uh, can you explain uh, also about it in a way a neophyte devotee could understand this and not kind of just as Krishna uh, <laughs> for me? Uh, uh, Srila Prabhupada himself was explaining this in Perfect Questions, Perfect Answers. I quoted this and in the very first chapter of Perfect Questions, Perfect Answers, this question is asked. So, Prabhu, you can take the mic. I will ask what Bob is asking and you speak what Srila Prabhupada is speaking. Okay? Hmm? <laughs> is Krishna attractive to rascals? Oh, yes. He was the greatest rascal also. How is that? Laughing. <laughs> because he was always teasing the gopis. Shams the teasing, yeah. he gets interested. Teasing? Yes. <coughs> Sometimes when Radharani would go out, Krishna would attack her. And when she would fall down, Krishna, don't torture me in this way. They would fall down and Krishna would take the opportunity and kiss her. He laughs. So Radharani was very pleased, but superficially Krishna was the greatest of rascal. So unless rascaldom is in Krishna, how could rascal be, be existent in the... This is, this is how you explain to a new person, dear devotees. But Srila Prabhupada can do this. If we try to do this, then the temple president will call us and say, Is, is everything okay with you? <laughs> so, so this is the mood of a Gaudiya Vaishnava. Prabhupada frequently displayed these moods because that is what a devotee of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu does. Gives great pleasure to Krishna. Krishna sometimes likes to hear words of chastisement. Please try to understand. Krishna likes to hear words of chastisement. A new devotee may not be eligible to create new names. But at least a new devotee can repeat the names given by the previous Acharyas in Guru Parampara, right? Yes. Those are bona fide names. Yatha Tathava Vidadhatu. Bas, that's it. So even a neophyte, when he comes to the temple every day, he recites Shikshashtakam. In that way, from the very beginning of their spiritual lives, we are taught how to give Gali, abusive words. To Sri Krishna. In a bona fide way. Huh? Because we are following the previous Acharyas. So whatever the previous Acharyas have done, we just follow exactly as it. We don't create our own new words. But we follow in the footsteps of the previous Acharyas. If they have decided that Krishna should be decorated with a particular adjective, we will follow in their footsteps and we will also decorate Sri Krishna with that adjective. Are we not afraid? No. <laughs> Why? Because we are not devotees of Krishna. Whose devotees are we? Yeah. Well, that's it. That is the some and substance of the subject matter. I told you Krishna gives some freedom to his energies that if she decides no, he is okay, then Krishna can't do anything. So that is what. If Sri Radha says, yeah, this is okay. This was actually uttered by me, Lampato. He is, you know, repeating what I have said. It's okay. So Krishna has to tolerate at that point of time. But it gives him good pleasure. So that is why we say. We say because not to annoy him. We say in unison with Chaitanya Mahaprabhu in the morning. So we are not independently calling Krishna Lampato. Our calling out to Krishna is in unison with Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So that the voice gets bigger and Krishna can hear it clearly. How he has behaved towards the Vrajavasis. So that is the, okay. that is the answer to your query. Thank you, Baba. 
yeah anybody else yes uh, loka pavani devi yes Yeah it sounds and looks like real pain but the entire subject matter of the presentation will gradually come to that point why it was that he chose to suffer like this we have to understand why chaitanya mahaprabhu was crying in gambhira it begins from dwarka the crying begins from dwarka and it will end up in gambira <laughs> but i have to take you gradually <laughs> to that particular point there are various poets coming up beside shri rupa goswami poets whom chaitanya mahaprabhu liked very much they will perhaps express what chaitanya mahaprabhu had to say so that is i will keep it a secret uh, assuming that you will attend all the presentations <laughs> okay thank you anybody else okay i i think they are all ready for prasadam <laughs> प्रसाद सर्व दुखा हानिपजाते प्रसाद इमीजिएटली डिस्ट्रॉइज ऑल सफरिंग डियर डिटी सो थैंक यू वेरी मच थैंक यू महाराज फॉर काइंडली बींग हियर एंड वी आर ऑल्सो अवेटिंग स्वयं भगवान केशव महाराज सो आई यू नो वील हियर फ्रॉम हिम टुमारो यस एंड दिस इवनिंग वी आर अगेन लुकिंग फॉरवर्ड टू डाइविंग इन दि ओशियन ऑफ mercy in the seven oceans of mercy <coughs> i actually the holy past time we will oh holy past time we will be a uh, flying of colors and uh, emotions and uh, something special okay so we will dive in the ocean of past times <laughs> one of okay wonderful thank you so much maharaj thank you dear devotees shila prabhupad ki jai tai gaur premanand de